The greatest advantage in life comes from knowing those around you and knowing how to read people. So this is a skill that we've got to work on. It's that empathic mindset. People will admit signals of what their actual intentions are. So if we're not picking up on it, it's because we're not paying attention closely enough to the signals that they're giving off. You gotta work hard to fight that urge to take appearances for reality. Gotta dig below that surface level. Stop your incessant interior monologue and pay deeper attention to people. Attune yourself to the shifting moods of individuals and the group. Get a read on each person's particular psychology and what motivates them. Try to take their perspective. Enter their world and value system. So law three is to conceal your intentions. Use red herrings. Throw people off of the scent. This is good because why? You never really know when people are jealous and you have silent enemies that aren't overtly coming out and telling you that they don't mess with you, but they would actually love to see you have a downfall. So if you conceal your intentions, these folks can't try, uh, it's harder for these folks to try to monkey wrench whatever your plans are, because they don't really know what your plans are. The ad hominem logical fallacy. This literally means attacking the man. How it works is that someone brings forth a certain proposition or an idea, or they're saying something made that we're trying to determine whether it's the truth. So instead of attacking that person's argument, you attack that person directly. So you would say an ad hominem attack would be something like this. Well, such and such says this, but he's a communist, so we can't believe anything that he says. That is an ad hominem attack. So what if he's a communist? He, he may be a communist, but that does not mean what he's saying is not true. This is how an ad hominem attack works. So be on the lookout for when someone says something against the person and not what the person is saying. That is a logical fallacy. That's called the ad hominem attack. All of these logical fallacies are trying to get us to focus on something other than whether or not whatever is being said is true or not. What Marcus Aurelius learned from Apollonius. Independence and unvarying reliability and to pay attention to nothing, no matter how fleeting, except the logos and to be the same in all circumstances, intense pain, the loss of a child, chronic illness, and to see clearly from his example that a man can show both strength and flexibility, his patience in teaching, and to have seen someone who clearly viewed his expertise and ability as a teacher as the humblest of virtues, and to have learned how to accept favors from friends without losing your self-respect or appearing ungrateful what Marcus Aurelius learned from Apollonius.